Hollywood is still on strike with more actors joining the picket lines day by day. What could this mean for Netflix's much anticipated earnings release after the bell today? We're going to jump coast now to join Yahoo Finance's Arlie Garfinkel at the picket lines in Los Angeles. Ali, boots on the ground. What are you seeing there? Hi, Jared. So it's 9 a.m. here in Los Angeles, and the picket lines are just getting set up right outside Netflix's offices. On one hand, I'd say it's I'd say it's a social environment with some edges. On one hand, you have a lot of people drinking coffee, shaking hands, saying hello. And on the other hand, the LAPD is here and the stakes are incredibly high. Now, of course, Netflix in particular has been a focal point of this strike. Remember, Netflix has come to represent the streaming revolution, the change in the economics of entertainment that so many of these writers and actors are most worried about. And of course, let's not forget for Netflix itself, the stakes are high. Remember, the company spends about 17 billion annually on content at places like this one, the one I'm standing behind, Sunset Bronson Studios. And today, today, today's Netflix earnings, and I would say that one of the key questions is whether Netflix is set to weather this strike. And ultimately, the answer from a company like Moody's is yes. Netflix has a couple of key advantages. One of them, of course, is that it has a lot of content investments internationally. Think about some of Netflix's biggest hits of the last few years. For instance, Squid Game, shot in South Korea. The other thing, too, is because they have that broad catalog that's both domestic and international, they could be set to weather a bunch of different changes. And lastly, of course, they have a profitable balance sheet. So there is a lot of optimism that they are set to weather the strike. However, I would say there is one wrench. Yeah. Netflix is in the process of changing its business model, right, Jared? There's the ad-supported tier. You've got you've got all sorts of stuff like that where, you know, for instance, you have the password sharing crackdown. So in the end, the industry-wide change that could come on the other side of this strike is actually what I think they should be worried about. But that's down the line, and it's, it's going to be a long, hot summer in Los Angeles. Ali, we got another minute here. Um, I know you said it's only 9 a.m. there on the West Coast, but have you had the chance to talk to anybody there and just get a feel for the sentiment uh, and kind of the attitude that pervades right now? So far this morning, it is 9 a.m. People are just coming by. Actually, we have people walking by us right now. I would say the sentiment is actually one of optimism. Right. There's I was just talking to one of the organizers who said, you know, we are actually really excited. We think we're asking for reasonable things. We think we can get what we want. And we think there is a lot of pressure on these companies. So I would say the sentiment is one of optimism. But make no mistake about it. I think everyone is really hunkering in for a long haul. The, the sense I got by the time I got here, Jared, mm -hmm. everyone was already set up. This is an incredibly organized endeavor. Long haul. Well, you heard it there. Ellie Garfinkel, thank you for that report. And let's do a final check of the market right now. We are in rally mode.